I did it again, Phil. I caught another fish with a $100 tag. What's up, Better Days? This is Myers Cove Boat Ramp. This is the Collins River. I'm with my buddy Phil, and I got on my socks and Crocs. You know that means it's summertime. We're gonna go down here. Last time we were here, we caught a giant trophy smallmouth bass. We're gonna go look for some of those today. Look at this. Look at Phil. Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful day. Ned rig in there? Ned rig right in here? Paddle up to where she is, maybe? It's the one spot she hasn't swum yet. We love you. We do, yes, we know. We love you so much. Wow, you risky over there. Nah, I'm gonna toss like right here. <laughs> oh, I got bit, I got bit, I got him. I got him. I got him. That's crazy. I got him. Bait. That is a creek chub. That is live bait. Did, but I win. I said, I'm going to toss right here. <laughs> Should we be using this for bait? Do I, did I bring hooks for bait? Wow, what a bummer. I caught my first fish of the day, and he's perfect for bait. It's a little stone roller. There's his horny little nose right there. Cool. So I just asked Phil what to tie on, and we decided on paddle tail swim bait. And I hooked up with the first smallmouth either one of us has seen today. We may not get it in. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's no keeper, but that's our first fish, official fish of the day. Phil got on the board with some rock bass. Oh my goodness, Phil. It. It's, it's gone. It's gone. It was a no doubter, just he swallowed it. Okay, there we go. That's what I threw at him. A big old Kitek. And he ate it. Yes. Recording. What? It's small. Oh, it is small. I see him. Beautiful. Good. I see him. Now nah, he's heavy. He yeah, he's, he's got weight. Boy. Mm -hmm. Got him. Oh, yes, sir. Got him. Thank you, sir. I'll do whatever you need to do to that hook. I'm going to get that hook right now. <sighs> got it. Okay, did I just... Uh, so like over or under? Under the tail. Yeah, there you go. Under and then... Under and then... Doesn't matter. How do I gill them? I've never had to gill them. Just fish. under, under the mouth. Just don't grab in the gills. Just get under the mouth and you'll feel heaviness. 
So get in the gill? No. No? Just underneath it. Oh, just underneath the whole fish. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So I gotta grab the steel. There we go. Don't let loose with that left hand. Make that left hand real tight. That's where he kicks from. Slimy. Yep. That's all right. He's still breathing the whole time, so we're doing good by him. Come here, big mama. No, that's a, that's a log. No, you don't need to do that. That's all right. It's just your fourth one. Don't worry about it. You'll get it eventually. Do people normally gill these things? They kind of hold it underneath and, and get a grip on it. There you go. No, 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 no. He's gone. Gone. I think she's been following us the whole way. Yep, she just got a mink. That's a mink. Yeah. Look how beautiful it is. Look how long it is. People always tell me there's not mink out here. There's one right there. It sounds exactly like a squeak toy. Now we know why they make those squeak toys. Yeah. It's That's what it sounds like. No, that's a full-size mink, dude. That's what you need to make a, about 30 of those to make a coat. I thought it was a fish, too. It sounded too dope for it. It was wild. I, I can't believe she got it. Oh, there we go. Got a good one. Smallmouth. No, it's little too, buddy. I saw him eat it, which I thought made it a pretty good one, but no. But I was right, we will catch some fish without her in the water. As soon as she's not in the water in front of us, we start pulling them out. Little fat belly. In ninth grade, I was camping and fishing with a couple of buddies. I got a catfish hook through my eyelid. Yeah, through my eyelid. We was walking back to the campsite and he had his hook un untethered from his pole and it was hanging off. And he felt a little resistance, which was my eyelid and he pulled it away from it and it sat in my eyelid. No, but I went to the emergency room to take it out. Yeah. Oh, I just had one. Did you see all the fish jump when I set that hook? Yeah. So all those little bait fish just jumped. They, one of them probably got got by whatever just hit this. It was a west wind and we were on a west trip the whole time. Really? Yeah. Paddle tail? Yeah, as soon as I went back to it. <laughs> That's a good one. Ain't that the best fish of the day that's not a musky? Oh, I got one. I got a good one. Oh, it got off. It got off. Oh, I had a good one. It's just incre incredible. I tried to cast into this. You can see why. <laughs> Look, we have on the same... I, I want you to see what I have on. I want you to actually look at it. Yeah. No, no, no. It's the same hook, same the same brand, and the same paddle tail. Literally. Feel how sharp it is, too. It's slightly bigger. It's not the hook, I don't know. They're just, they're getting the whole tail in there, and it's giving them leverage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're getting the end of that tail in their mouth, and, 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 and it's, just as, it's just this. When you've got this whole thing in here, it's hard to get as much of the hook in your mouth. Yeah. And it gives them a little bit of leverage. They're getting off quick. I'm only feeling what size the fish is, and then it's gone. Yeah, I've had to, like, give it a second. I'll feel the bite. Oh, a delayed set. Yeah, and then wait. Okay. Usually that's better. <laughs> You're looking kind of down today. Can I prop you up with some sacks of 20s? All right, that might make me feel better. <laughs> That's a, that's a good one too. Oh, there we go. 
Got mine. I got one. The big one. The big dog. Yes, I finally got a keeper, you guys. I got a 13-inch little bass on. I've been trying all day. Phil's got a musky. He's got some bass. Yeah, he's a 13-inch. He'll, he'll literally keep. Like, you could put him in your little online tournament. Oh, he may be 14. But that was a good bite. And you know what I did, Phil? What? Delayed set. Ah. I felt the thump, and I gave it just a second. And it really helped out. I had just missed a lot of fish in a row. I think I've got a quick trigger on my set. Phil mentioned that he's doing a little delayed thing with his swim bait, and that really seemed to help out. This right here is heaven. No paddling. Fishing that wall where the dog is not. In the shade. Man, I just watched this thing come up and annihilate my swim bait. I gave it that just delayed set, just a split second, and that thing was hooked. Oh, man. Still. Do what? No, he's a little smaller than the last one. A little bit smaller, but he's a long river fish. He's skinny. And he come right out of this tree. You'll see this tree. He just come right, I mean, just bolted right up out of it to take this thing from near the surface. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Man, it's, it's, that's not 70. The lake is 70 plus. That's, oh gosh, that's low 60s. That's cold. No, oh, it's, God, dog it, it's cold. No, <laughs> I'm trying to throw a crankbait. First cast, it got hung on itself. No, it's not. But I got a fish on the second cast. Hey, musky, musky, right here, throw at me. Throw at me. Throw at me. Throw all around me. Throw all around me. He had it in his mouth. I just didn't get him. Little one. Darn it. There we go. There's a little uh, small mouth. Oh, it come off my crankbait. Yeah, it's just me today. I'm snake bit. I'm just completely snake bit. You ever heard that? Yeah. It's just me today. Nothing sticking, Phil. Bass ain't sticking, rock bass ain't sticking, musky ain't sticking. It's all good. You know that crankbait action? Yeah. That wobble left to right? Uh -huh. I seen this video, this redneck said, girl, your butt looks, moves like a crankbait through the water. <laughs> <laughs> what a good girly. What a good girl. I got a fish. I got one fifth of a fish. Yeah, it's a rock bass. Remember? Five rock bass count as one fish. One rock bass. Crankbait. I just put down it.
I did it again, Phil. I caught another fish with a hundred dollar tag. No yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I'm not kidding you. I saw it and I didn't want to say anything till I had it in the net. I could see the tag this time from a distance. And I knew, um, I knew immediately what it was. My heart's racing, brother. Yep, that's what he's, that's what he's gonna say. Yeah, tiny little fish. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, you guys. One hundred dollar reward, TWRA. Oh my goodness, cut here. Okay, I just, I just got another hundred dollar reward, you guys. This is another one hundred dollar fish. Yes. Look. See, they're just tagging random fish, yeah. This is for some information they're trying to gather. I just got another hundred dollars. I just got another hundred dollars. Look how pretty that fish is. Yeah, you just gotta keep the tag. I just got another hundred dollars. I just got another hundred dollars. That made my day better. That helped, yeah. Did, that, they, did they mail your other hundred dollars? Oh, I already spent that. Yeah. <laughs> I went out and bought fishing tackle immediately. Figure eight him. That's three now for you and one for me. So we've had four follows today. We got to remember the end of this trip, there's no current. The first four miles was all current, the second four miles was no current. Yeah. All I know is that it's insane how much you pay. Six grand. What you pay for it and then like, it's still not enough. <laughs> Correct. Oh, uh, did you see that? No. Darn, am I recording? There's Bonnie. She's been with us the whole way. Like she always does. If you do this trip, she's going to hang out with you the whole time. I got him. The year's first topwater fish. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> well, we've had a fantastic day. We've caught musky and tagged TWRA fish that won us a $100 bill. So I just decided to throw in this whopper plopper and push the issue. I want to catch topwater fish because it's fun. All right, once you get to the bridge, Shellsford Axis Bridge, take this hard right over here. You can get out right there and walk up the hill. I'm gonna go right down here to where the trail is. That's as quick as I've gone all day. <laughs> and there you go.
I'm just gonna kind of drag my kayak up here. There we go. And that's a little trail right there. You just take your kayak right up to the bar parking lot. What do you think? Mission accomplished, right? You can do this trip. I have faith in you. Can't always catch a muskie. And you probably won't catch a $100 fish. But the last time, two times I've been out here, I caught a $100 fish. So, book this trip now. Betterdaysfishing.com You can send me an email. We'll get the ball rolling. Betterdaysfishing at gmail.com I tell people where to go fishing. And sometimes there's muskies there. And sometimes you could catch a $100 fish. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.